Hello, it's DJ again. I'm over here with third grade Thursdays. Welcome to Miss Moody's Mathematicians. <clears throat> so today we're gonna be learning how to make a multiplication chart. You see here. You can call this grid paper, line paper, chart paper, whatever you want to call it. But let's learn. It's where you use this. First, you gotta draw the numbers. But we're learning that. And so, when you want to learn your multiplication facts, you can use them. And you can just go. Say you had five times ten. You like one, two, three, four, five. You go ten times. That's your answer. So now, first, I want you to know if you're at the corner or you want to go that corner, any corner, you put an X. You don't put number one there. So you got an X right here. Because that's your multiplication time. That's your multiplication symbol. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Third graders don't need to know their thirteens anymore, so we go to twelve. Now we do the same thing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. This is our paper for right now. And now so, I bring this one out to my teacher. If my teacher never taught me how to do this, I would be struggling. And I would be like, hold up, I ran out of fingers with 12. But the teacher taught me how to use your dots. You go one, so one times one is one. Or we should already know anything times one is that number. Two, three. Four. So you basically do the same thing. You copy that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's our dog. We're sorry. But remember, don't do this one and then two and then three. No. You gotta go one times one is one these you just copy this number bang bang but you don't go two four no that's not how it works if you have a hard time on your twos you should know how to count by twos two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty you know but if you have trouble one two Three, four. Well, you know what? We're just gonna. We are. We should know our two. So, six, eight, ten, <clears throat> twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. If I make any mistakes, just please tell me. But, oh, now, if you have troubles with your threes, I understand. But, I learned them. Now, we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Count your dots. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. See how easy this is? Instead of using your fingers, 28, 29, 30. Instead of using your fingers, you could do this. Instead, I'm gonna go, uh, duh, duh. and then you could accidentally count a number again. I could go, oh, three, four, five. You're like, five. No. That's why you always. And make sure you don't put a dot right here. Please don't put a dot right here, by here. Just put your dots by your numbers, not by your times. Now don't do num your dots all the way down already, and cause then you might go 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 30. See? But you keep doing it until you get to that row. So 31, 32, 33, and 34, 35, and 36. Look, I'm breaking out a pen, and I'm not even making no mistakes. See, you could take out a pen, and you would know for sure you're not making mistakes because you're using your dots. Now, one, one, two, three, four. You know, fours are actually kind of hard. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. 33, 34, 35, 36. I'm gonna slow it down. 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. I want you, I'm gonna put a Mickey Mouse like the mama did the last time. The answer is, let me give you a hint, plus four, plus four, and then put that one. 48! Because 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So DJ decided that he was gonna be a little chatterbox. So I told him, you know what? Without talking, just go through, finish, um, so that they can at least see a finished product and so they can get an idea of how this will work if it was in the classroom and you were not talking you know um he said that it probably takes him in class less than seven minutes his teacher times them for 10 minutes um he said he takes about seven now what i did with my kids is um i would time them for five minutes at first you know it will take a while it may take 10 minutes but then throughout the year it'll go down um also i had to remind him that he needed to do his easier roles first i i'm not sure if his teacher taught him that or if he just in in the um in the moment just forgot because he wanted to focus so much on explaining but i would recommend doing your ones then your twos then your fives and your tens and your um if you do 11s i would not recommend 11s for third graders only because okay let me rephrase that the teak only recommends going up to 10 if they're supposed to go up to 10 by 10 in memorizing facts i personally think they should go up to 12s because a lot of the the questions on star and a lot of what they're required to do involves 11s and 12s but so um, if you notice, this is what he started doing after I started reminding him that he could do his easier ones first. And then that made it go by a lot quicker. Um, so 
we, I guess we'll just go ahead and watch and see how he finished his table. Um, oh, and for doing those easier ones, I would do them both horizontally and vertically. So like if I got it horizontally first, then I would copy it and do it vertically. So by the time you get to, you know, your nines, everything should be pretty much filled out, you know, if that makes sense. Okay, so you've seen the finished product. I hope that helped. We'll see y'all tomorrow for 4th or 5th grade Fridays.